Uh, if people want to get a hold of you, get a hold of your music, find out more about the Ransom Brothers, where would um, they go? So you can go to uh, just theransombrothers.com, www. Um, we have, you know, our a lot of our, our booking email, if anybody's looking for us, is just booking at theransombrothers.com. Uh, we're blessed to have a uh, wonderful booking agent in Chuck Sweeney with Marathon Music Group. Um, he's been fantastic. We're really, you know, we're proud to be partnered with him. Um you know, Instagram, Facebook, we're working on getting to Twitter. We've had many publicists tell us. I will have nothing Twitter. to do with this Twitter. We just we have just seen so many horror stories of bands just, you know, spewing venom on Twitter, so we're just trying to, you know all those late nights and we've had a few to drink and you just start <laughs> and getting just, in all your Here's feels. what I think of this and then the next uh. next thing you know, you're in this giant Twitter fight with somebody. So we're gonna get on Twitter soon, but um yeah, just, you know, Instagram, Facebook, Yellow Pages, MySpace, all that good stuff. It's stuff. all just at My the Space, Ransom yeah. Brothers. <laughs> I always like to go back to MySpace. Yeah. We're, y'all are too, way too young to remember MySpace. Oh, oh I, no way, I, man. I, I definitely use that. Space, man, I miss Top I, 8, I, I dude. Was, <laughs> letting your friends know who's was, who's up at the top. Did you always leave Tom at number one? Was he still <laughs> number one? I was like seven years old trying to make my MySpace, and I had like the I had everything ready to go, and then I needed my mom's email. I was like, dang it. Oh, man, oh, MySpace was it. my prime. Was yeah. it? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm 33, so you know, that was I'm same. good time. <laughs> <laughs> man, talk, talk about this, uh, this scene right here before you get out of here. You guys have been hitting it since you said 2020, right around that yes, time sir. frame. So we're three years into it, and it's you're, you're clawing your way, one person at a time, one fan at a time, and hoping they come back, and that's the goal of every single gig uh, in the Austin area. I mean, we call it the live music capital of the world. The scene here is hard to break into the quote-unquote, I don't call it Texas music because it's not all Texas music. I mean, there's a, it's an amalgamation of a bunch right. of different scenes, but our scene, uh, talk about that scene and breaking into it, and, and it can be hard but it's just kind of a clawing process. I think, um, honestly, the community in Austin has been extremely welcoming, a lot more so than we were expecting. We, When you're kind of, you know, earning your keep and, like, proving that you're worth your salt, it's it's definitely one of those things where if you've got it, you've got it, and, and folks will recognize that. But I think that, you know, Joe Abels and Jody Witherspoon with Saxon, they, they've been, like, almost parents to us. Like, they've just been great mentors they've you know they've loved on us every time we've gone through those doors um every opportunity we get to go play somewhere we give it everything we've got and i think that's what comes across in the way we play and the way we present ourselves in especially austin and we've you know this is our home this is where this is kind of it was a proving grounds for us at first and so you kind of came into these rooms feeling like all right i'm competing with the beer in front of the people in this bar and the tv so I've got to really give them something to listen to. But I think if you're willing to really commit yourself to something that's pure and something that's real as an artist, then folks will respond to it. And the, the musicians in this town will they'll they'll rally around you. They want they want to see that you're you're doing it for the right reasons. It also helps when you have a you know, lineup of six six dudes who can yeah. really just crush We've, their We do have quite the arsenal <laughs> at I our mean, disposal. You know, JT on fiddle, Sean singing and, and his guitar playing, uh, our bass player Phil Eckhart is absolutely a genius on that thing. Really Probably is. the most like musically uh, what's the right word? Like music theory knowledge. You know, when we write a song, he'll be like, "Hey, you know, because of the fifth here and and this, we can go to that." And I'm like, "Sure, man, just tell me where to play." Uh, and <laughs> right. then you know, tonight we'll have uh, James Rodman playing keys for us, just absolute Great cat. whiz. Great. Cat. Uh, and then our drummer Aaron English, who I think Aaron's probably with... been with us for close to a year now. Yeah, he was with John Bauman for a while, and um, uh, he's great. I mean. That was probably honestly one of the hardest things to do is find a freaking drummer in this town that's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to not just be a sub and, like, you know, this is kind of my main thing. But, uh, yeah, put the six of us up there, man. I, you know, give them a show. Fans do see through you're either real or you're not. I think that's half of it. And the musicians as well. If you're going to, if you're real about your music and they can tell that you, uh, fans can see if, if you're pure about what you're trying to do. Uh, which is I've enjoyed listening to you for it's always good. Now it's one thing for me to get to hear something on a record or an album or whatever you are you sending over here, but I'm all about meeting somebody and getting to hear them live. And once you get in this right here, purest form, you know we're not 
screaming guitars aren't coming out the speakers. Yeah. You ain't hiding anything. Right. We ain't running track here in the studio. <laughs> so uh, you guys are good. Looking forward to seeing you live, playing Antones tonight. You get cranked up about, you said, about 10 o'clock, and the West Texas Exile is going to be playing with you. So oh, yeah. uh, doors open anytime you want to come by. Thanks for coming by today and hanging out with us. Hey, thanks yes, so sir. much for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. Appreciate the it. Ransom Brothers, Sal, Sean, and John, live in our Coke FM studios and live right here with CokeTV.com.